loose teeth due to orthodontics. One of the most common concerns parents bring to me is when they're worried about a tooth that might be loose during orthodontic therapy. And usually I reassure them that this is a normal situation that goes on when you orthodontically move a tooth. What happens is that a tooth sits in a socket. So this is the tooth and this is the bone around the tooth. It sits with a small gap all the way around. And this is a joint. <clears throat> it's a joint a little bit like the joints of your fingers or anywhere else on your body. But it is different. It's called a gomphosis. And this is a special particular type of joint that's highly fibrous and allows some but limited movement. Now, when a tooth is moved in a certain direction by an orthodontic force or any other force, then the bone in the direction that the tooth is moving is resorbed away, is removed. It's dissolved, the minerals in it are dissolved, so that the tooth can travel in that direction, um, as indicated by the hatch, the dotted line. Um, and then that leaves a larger space, because it's some time between you get infill at the back, so creating that tight fit with the gomphosis joint. And um, during this space of time, the teeth can move quite dramatically. And I've seen some situations where you would have quite alarmingly loose teeth, and that afterwards healed up completely fine, and a few of them I even went to the effort of taking some small x-rays to check, and the teeth were otherwise perfectly normal. So frequently within orthodontics, teeth do become loose, and this is a completely natural situation. Now, I caveat that, that there are some times where teeth become loose, and that becomes a really big problem. This um, is frequently associated with the roots of the upper front teeth, which are probably some of the most important teeth. And I've seen the roots dramatically reduced, almost to nothing, in some situations. And this often seems to be associated with um, orthodontics, where the upper front teeth are moved up and back due to a deep bite, so someone's biting deeply, and the incisors are moved up and back there, can cause a lot of damage to the roots of the teeth. And often when you have um, vertical elastics closing an anterior space and the tongue moves in, pushes the space open, the vertical elastics then pull down again and you get what's known as a jiggling uh, with one way and the other way. That can cause a lot of um, root damage. Um, I've seen where you're using elastics down onto the tooth number six can cause a lot of damage down to tooth number six particularly, again, if these are poorly worn. And it's, if they're poorly worn, at some point you're pushing one way, some point you're pushing the other way, and that, again, is this jiggling issue. So, loose teeth, due to orthodontics, need to be kept an eye on. It's quite common, but there are some situations where this can be quite damaging.